Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we just got a massive article from Xbox.com talking about how the future of Halo Infinite is going to be completely changed forever. There's been a ton of news with, you know, Microsoft acquiring Blizzard and Activision and all that stuff, and I feel like this article might be lost, but it was published on October 13th, which is today, the day that I'm recording, by Mike Nelson. And it basically goes over Halo Infinite's Forge campaign AI stuff. Now again, I want to apologize if I sound sick. I am still a little sick. That's kind of why I sound like this. And before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support that we've seen recently on the channel. You guys have been absolutely killing it. We're grinding away to 15k subs, and if you like Halo and Halo content, make sure you go ahead and sub to the channel. I know 96% of you are not subbed, so just do it please. So I'm definitely not going to read the article like word for word. I'm just going to hit on the main points that I think are super important. And then at the end, we're going to talk about how I also think that this completely changes Halo Infinite and how I don't think now with this coming that 343, Microsoft, Xbox are just going to, you know, let Halo Infinite die. If anything, I feel like this means they're going to double down on it, but who knows? I know we talk all the time about like Halo 7 and the Unreal Engine and Halo Infinite's going to end after Season 4. Do you guys remember when that was a thing? Anyways, let's get into the video. So basically, the Forge AI toolkit will allow Forge players to create and share experiences using campaign AI in the actual Forge mode. Things like spawning AI, controlling where it goes using the node graph to manage that AI. Michael Shore, who is the Forge lead, says that the North Star for the Forge AI toolkit was a waved-based PvE experience, firefight, horde, things like that, that people will probably try to create first. But then he says it also has the capacity to do more linear experiences. He says there's a lot of cool things you can do, MOBA type of things. A tower defense game was created by one of the engineers. And he says there's a lot of flexibility in these tools. This is stuff that we have been wanting, you know, since the Bungie era. Michael Shore says that Forge has been around for a long time and we've seen a lot of cool variations on multiplayer stuff, but we've never seen what players can do with AI. And like, I already know that people are gonna remake like classic Halo missions. The thing is, is like, it almost feels like we're gonna get a remaster of every Halo game before. Like, there's gonna be like Halo 3 ODST, Remastered Part 2. I, I just, this is going to be massive. We're gonna see people probably remake Halo 5 Warzone stuff, like actually remake it. I know there's been like Warzone in Forge already, kind of, where it's just player versus player, but this is really gonna change it. They talk about how this toolkit has been in the works for over a year and a half, roughly 18 months. They also said that they're adding over 100 nodes in Season 5, so that's a huge chunk of AI functionality. And while they say that it's not everything that the internal team has when they would work with Campaign, it's very, very powerful. They talk about making patrol routes, sending a squad of elites around the outside of a base, you can make enemies show up if you cross a trigger volume. There's going to be so much. They also talk about the future of people who use Forge and how they can leverage that into maybe a career. They talk about how it will basically influence future game designers, saying if you know how to use Forge, then you probably can just, you know, use anything. And how a lot of Forge level designers are now employed by 343. I also think that this goes hand in hand with the changes in the battle pass and how you will be able to get XP in custom games and I totally see people who don't like playing multiplayer like at all can use this custom game, you know, PvE arena to gain XP. This is what Halo has been missing forever, not just Halo Infinite, but just this, this PvE aspect. They end it by saying it's an incredibly exciting time for Halo Infinite, and I agree. We've really hit our stride with what feels like the multiplayer aspect. People have been begging, begging for PvE stuff. We're getting Firefight, but the fact that we're getting AI in Forge, like people, not to talk about Destiny, but people are going to make like strike missions, maybe raids, dungeons, and that honestly is what I'm most excited for. I can't wait to have like two other friends, you know, just go shoot aliens and 
have like a huge wave of elites attacking you constantly. Stuff that I would dream about, you know, when I played like Halo 3. I literally cannot wait. I agree. I do think this is going to change Halo Infinite forever easily. And I'm so excited to see what people make. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!